In today's video, we're opening the much anticipated Rarity Collection 2. What's up guys, we are back with another epic opening. This one should indeed be epic because it is Rarity Collection 2. My first impression is, look how small these are. <laughs> Check this out. I love this. So it's actually gonna be like, not as crazy. Like the boxes normally when we're opening a bunch of cases and stuff are massive and there's tons of packaging everywhere and they really limited it. So it's literally just holding the packs and that's it. This is more of the OCG Japanese style and I'm a huge fan of it. I would be okay with them kind of just switching to this overall and like different styles of boxes and stuff. I actually really, really like how it looks. So very, very cool. Also, I mean, it's just Rarity Collection too. We've been waiting for not that long really because Rarity Collection 1 came out six months ago and they're like, you know what? That was so good. Let's make a second. But even then it feels like we've been waiting for a while for this to come out. And we will be giving away every pull in this video. That includes the quarter centuries and everything else in here. So it's going to be super insane. We're going to pull a lot of good stuff. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. What is your favorite card from Rarity Collection 2? I know some people don't think it's as good as Rarity Collection 1, but I mean, it's Rarity Collection 1. It was like the best set ever. It's going to be hard to beat that, but I think it's going to be overall pretty good. Let's see what we can pull inside. I do also want to mention we're going to be doing a whatnot stream this Thursday, opening Rarity Collection as well. And then Friday, we're going to be completing, I think it's Friday, maybe Saturday. I haven't decided on that yet. We're going to be doing the YouTube stream, completing the entire Rarity Collection set. So it should be pretty insane. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, make sure you guys come to that because it took 10 hours to complete Rarity Collection 1. It'll probably take something similar, even though the pull rates are a little bit different on this. So maybe a little bit shorter. We'll see. Okay, let's take a look at the box real quick. We have 18 packs per box. Yeah, so there's not 24 in here. There's 18. If you're from Europe, you got the regular boxes with 24 packs. So it's a little bit different. Or maybe not regular boxes, but they are 24 packs. So I don't know what the difference in terms of how they look. But uh, let's see. Set contents. Something to change. Okay, nothing really on there. We have nine cards per pack, 18 per box. It doesn't normally on the OCG ones, it would say all the rarities there. And it doesn't do that here. So interesting. Okay, let's open this thing up. Let's get these packs out. Let's see what the first box looks like. We're going to do box by box just to see kind of what we get per box. And like how many QCRs and stuff. I think it's supposed to be like four or something. No, that, didn't, that seems low. I actually don't know. So wait. This doesn't, does this tuck in at all? Okay, I guess you can tuck it in, but it originally doesn't. That's interesting. No, no, it does. I guess it just came out. All right, yeah, so you can tuck it in like that. Very cool. You get your 18 packs. All right. I didn't watch anybody's Rarity Collection 2 openings just because I wanted to open it myself for the first time. So let's see what it's like. There's, I mean, still nine cards per pack, but they're supposed to be more high. Oh, wait, no, before it was five. So now there's nine. Yeah, that's right. So they doubled the price of the pack, but they didn't double the cards. It was five to nine. So there's one. We got shorted one card. Let's see what the difference is. Okay, super rare right there. We got one super. You get a Cyframe Lord or Mega. We got a Magician Souls. Very nice. Ultra rare. That's going to be nice and cheap now, which is good. Preparation of Rights. That is a Prismatic Ultimate Rare. Very cool. Our first luxury rare, as they like to call them. They did change up these ultis. And as you can tell, these look absolutely incredible. And it feels like, I mean, based on the feel of it, I don't think they will like be as not, I don't know, what's the word? They felt like they weren't gonna hold up long-term on the last Prismatic Ultimate Rares. These feel a lot more sturdy and they feel like they're not gonna like stick to the sleeves and stuff. The texture on it's really good. There's a little bit of shine in there. I love that. The Phantom Knights of Breaksword, that's another ultimate. Two ultimates in one pack, okay, <laughs> great start. A Pearly Ultra Rare. Ooh, and a Droll and Lockbird. And this is the new Platinum Secret Rare, which a lot of you guys have seen already. But the previous Platinum Secret Rare in Rarity Collection 1 was very subtle. It had like the, the, the name was a little bit Platinum-y and a little bit Secret-y. But outside of that, it was just like a regular secret. This one looks way better. Droll and Lockbird, I'm a huge fan of this. It might be a little too shiny for some people, but I'm a big fan of this. I think it looks really good. It's a little bit hard to read the name still, but... I really like it. I think what they could have done is just made the name like normal secret and then done the secret rare pattern the rest of the way. That's still really awesome and another luxury rare. So three luxury rares and one pack. All right, that's a great start. There's going to be a lot. I mean, we are opening a lot of packs today, so I better get to it. This is going to be fun. All right, we have Pressured Planet. We have Garura. Rux is special. Saravos. That's our first prismatic collector rare. Sa Sarav Saravis. Not Saravos. Okay, there we go. Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Did we, get, we got our first QCR. We got a Peaceful Planet. Trap Tricks of Flesia. And a Mystical Space Typhoon. This is the one everybody was complaining about. It's like, oh, another Mystical Space Typhoon. We're at it again. All right, that's a pretty cool card as well. I mean, these are going to be so much fun to open. This is going to be such a fun stream. I cannot wait. So make sure you guys are here on for the YouTube stream when we're opening until we get every single card. 
Let me know uh, what you guys are thinking about that. And it, did you guys pick up any of the set? If you haven't already, Sassy Auto has a link to, for pre-order because they come out, I think, on Wednesday for locals and Friday for everybody. So you should get it, you know, next week, the week after. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to commit to his shipping schedule, but they're, they're coming out soon. Charge of the Light Brigade. That is awesome. It's going to be great for Edison. Okay, I'll probably keep all of those. That is a Prismatic Ultimate Rare. Mind Control. A TG Hyper Librarian. And, well, Mind Control is nice too. Secret Rare. Very cool. Hyper Librarian. Awesome. But yeah, check out the uh, discount code. Get 5% off if you use my discount code. And it's an affiliate link if you do buy uh, any rarity collection down there. So I appreciate you guys doing that. Another way to support, because I bought a bunch of cases of these. And let me tell you, this is an insanely expensive product. Uh, is check out Roxon34.com. I got a lot of stuff available over there. But man, the price on these was not cheap. That is for sure. Uh, Konami is definitely uh, getting some money out of us. We have the Prismatic Collector Rare. That's beautiful. The Guardian Chimera. Apparently, is one of the top cards. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. That's going to be a cool QCR, even though it's a reprint of a Starlight. Bummer. Oh, and the Garura. Wings of the Resident Life. That is a Platinum Secret Rare. I love the look of those. Those are awesomely shiny. All right, I got to pick it up because there's going to be a lot of... Uh, a lot of packs in this opening. Here we go. We have Didi Crow. We have Preparation of Rights. Saravis, Abomination's Prison, Ruxin Special, Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon, Xyz, Silence. Oh, so you can get no luxury rares. We didn't get any in that one. That's pretty brutal. Okay, we have Rarity Collection 2. Let's see. I'm going to go sideways because there are a lot of cards. We have Preparation of Rights, Gold Sark. We have Solemn Morning. We have Pot of Duality, Cosmic Cyclone, Chaos Hunter, and Psychic. Whoa, back-to-back -back with no luxury rares. Okay, interesting. I'm going to count up the ratios when we're done just to see, like, what the box got. Uh, okay, we got something here. We got the Solemn Judgment, Masquerade, Silent Swords, but I pulled a bunch of these out of Burst and Destiny the other day. Too bad they are being reprinted. Uh, Skill Drain. And an Emergency Teleport. That's a pretty dope card for Edison as well. QCR Emergency Teleport. Very cool. Man, there's so many cool cards in here. I don't know. So far, I'm seeing some nice cards. Like, I mean, there's some good stuff in here. I mean, I, I know there's no Trident Dragon, but I've liked a lot of the cards. Book of Eclipse. Okay, whatever. Skill Drain. Skill Drain has been printed like 20 times the last two years. It's wild. Abomination's Prison and Bingo Machine Go. There's some <laughs> some blue eyes support in here. Alternative Bingo Machine Go. All that stuff is in here. Can we get something else big? Oh, we got another we got another QCR or the other one. Oh, Soul and Luna. That's a collector rare. We have Emergency Teleport. We have Illusion of Chaos. And the Enemy Controller with another reprint. Platinum Secret Rare. These look good. I like the Platinum Secret Rares. Let me know what you think about them in the comments. Charge of the Light Brigade Secret Reprint of the original. So if you don't want to spend for Duelist Genesis, there you go. You got a much cheaper option. We have Guardian Chimera. We have Ghost Ogre, Blue Eyes Jet. We have Droll and Lockbird. That is a Prismatic Ultimate. Now Prismatic Collector. IP Masquerina Alternate Art. That is sweet. Okay, that's a good one. I know the price is probably not crazy on that because it's getting, you know, IP has a lot of prints at this point, not as playable as it used to be, but very cool card. All right, let's keep going. We have the Book of Moon, number 60. We have Apollosa, Droll. And a number 38, Hope Harbinger. That's a good Platinum Secret Rare as well. Very good card. Rarity 2. This is a man. This is going to be fun opening all these cases. It's going to be fun. Skullmeister. <laughs> the reprint from what set was this from originally in Collector Rare? The worst set ever. It was such a bad set. Whatever set it was originally from, the Collector Rare, this is the big card. Well, now it has a reprint, so it's even worse. Uh, Exo Sisters, Magnifica. Man, old sets are just absolutely destroyed. Like, opening Burst of Destiny just reminded me the other day how bad those old sets are now because every card in there has got a reprint. They're all down to like $8 min, like max and then like the high rarity cards all have reprints. Old sets are at this point, it's it's gonna be hard to move those. Okay, and there's pretty much no reason to buy them. Like, I mean, why would you buy them? You can just get the cheaper version out of the new set. All right, Soul and Luna skill drain. Sorry if I sound a little, uh, my voice, sound, I feel like it sounds a little nasally because I just woke up. We have Crystal Wings, Synchro Dragon. That is a ultimate rare. Droll and Lockbird. So many. Droll, man. That's going to hurt our investment. Our rare investment from Tactical Masters. Yeah, that's definitely not going to be worth anything anymore. Droll and Lockbird. We have Polly. We have the Prismatic Ultimate Rare Crystal Wings Synchro Dragon. We have Blue Eye Spirit Dragon. Oh, Spirit Dragon's in here. That's cool. Uh, Abyss Dweller. And, uh, ooh, the alternate art of Ghost Mourner. So it looks like they have all the maximum gold uh, alternate arts in here, but I don't. I haven't heard anything about Red Eyes. Red Eyes was an alternate art. Why is that not in here? That would have been such a cool one to have seven rarities of that alternate art Red Eyes out of maximum gold. It is, I think it's an Eldorado. That is such a good, good looking card. Gold Sarcophagus, Gold Meister. Yeah, I would be super down for that Red Eyes. I haven't heard about it being in here, but who knows? Maybe it is. That would be the card I'd be searching for big time. 
I mean, we're searching for every card, so it wouldn't really change anything. Uh, Book of Moon, we got a couple packs left. Rescue. Got Book of Moon again. Book two, Book of Moon. We have uh, Guardian Chimera, Platinum. I mean, what are the chances you get every rarity of one card in one pack? That's like the perfect pack, a rarity. It could happen because there's nine cards, so you could get like every rarity. We have Pearly, Rescue, Rescue Cat, Rescue Rabbit. We have the Rescue Cat alternate. Where's the Red Eyes? I'm mad if they didn't put Red Eyes in there. They put everything else in there. Okay, let's go to the next box. So far, honestly, I'm super excited for the set. The only, the only drawback is the price point for me. The price point is pretty brutal. I mean, $10 a pack. So, I mean, it's a, is it really a hundred? Is it $10 a pack? $180 a box? That can't be right. Is that right? How much does it cost? I think it is $10 a pack, isn't it? Because it was five before and then they doubled the price to 10. 18, about $180 a box. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow, that is rough. That is super rough. So at least you're getting a lot of stuff out of it, but the price point would make me a little bit like, be a little, uh, that's kind of weird, but you are getting a lot, so that is cool. I mean, in terms of rarities, in terms of like needed cards, maybe not so much. You know, there's not as many of those. There are some great staples in here though. Uh, Silent Swords, we are starting off slow on this one. Psychic and Punisher is a pretty good card. But I did say, you know, I said this right when they announced Rarity Collection 2, I mean, or I said before that, you should probably wait for the next one, and they didn't. So there's gonna be some drawbacks to that, to it coming out so quickly. We have Book of Eclipse, uh, and one of them being, it's harder to get a lot of great cards. Pot of Awesome got seven prints. That's kind of cool. That's pretty awesome, you could say. But the drawback is when you're trying to make a 81 card, seven, you know, seven rarity set with a bunch of reprints in it, if you just did it six months ago, it's harder to have as banger of a set because it hasn't been as long. So there's not as many cards to pick from. N Nimble Mega Hamster is good. I don't have any of these for Edison right now. Anti-Spell Fragrance. We have Cross Out Designator. A Luber. A Luber. Donna Majesty, RIP. We have a uh, Rescue Cat, Droll and Lockbird, and Trap Tricks of Felicia. So overall, pretty great set, even though, you know, there are some drawbacks, the price point, the, you know, so many reprints in such a short amount of time, but overall, it's going to be a super fun open if you do actually grab any of the set and the cards look fantastic. I'll say that huge fan of what they did with platinum with platinum rare. I think it looks way better. Huge fan of what they did to the ultimate rares. They look fantastic. I didn't take a closer look at, at collector rares. I probably should do that on the next one, but it seems like they, those are a little bit more quality too. Let's see. Yeah. So those don't like so before, like the cards were a little, I don't even know how to describe it. There was like slightly sticky. It was almost like they, the rarity was just going to come off, but that is not the case for these. They look a lot better. There's a Boral in ultimate rare. Blue Eyes Spirit, we got the uh, Pressured Planet, and Skullmeister, there you go. QCR, very cool. All right, so uh, by the way, every card in here is being given away, so you guys don't have to do anything except like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know in the comments, you know, whatever you really wanna let me know. I mean, it, I give you guys something you can let me know, but it really doesn't matter what you say. It's not that big of a deal. Just just leave a comment, that's the important part. And then if you want to interact with any of the video, that is, that is good. We have Silent Magician, Fusion Deployment, and we have Pearly Something Memory can't read it we have the rent Rendbrum is in here i don't remember what set that was in that was a decent card when it came out actually this is going to be a fun set guys it's going to be a great week of openings trishula dragon and the ice barrier very cool so the the original dual terminal i guess is still i mean technically they didn't reprint that but there are going to be a lot of uh other options now so it'll be cheaper we have ghost mourner we have bingo we have number 60 soul and luna cyframe blue eye spirit skull Skullmeister Platinum Rare. Let's get all the Skullmeisters. All right, why not? Just get all the Meisters. I'm liking this set. I'm having fun. There will be more openings. Tomorrow, we're probably going to do a Rarity 1 versus Rarity 2 opening. Maybe tomorrow or the next sometime. Sometime this week. So keep an eye out for that, and we'll see, like, which one is better, you know, or whatever. We'll be comparing, I guess, the price points. So, like, one box will be cheaper with Rarity Collection 1. We'll see which actually makes more, mint, like, money back. Guru Row, we have Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Super Nimble Mega Hamster. We have Pearly. These secrets look great, I will say. The secrets look fantastic in here. They really did do a good job with the quality of these cards, so... I mean, surprising with how quick they pumped this thing out. So that's good. We have Book of Eclipse and a Soul and Luna. That is probably not one we necessarily want, except we are going to want every single card later. Very cool. At least it will be. We have Skullmeister again everywhere. Gold Sarcophagus. There we go. Red Eyes Dark Drug. Four packs left. Can we pull them? And by them, I don't even know what them is. Like, I don't even know all the cards. IP alternate art. We have the access code. 
the Prismatic Ultimate Rare. And, ooh, Raikou. That's cool for Edison. That is cool. I'm going to be saving a lot of these cards. It's going to be a problem because, like, I spent so much money on these cases. And, like, I'm going to keep the full set. Then I'm going to have a bunch of Edison cards I'm taking out. Then I'm going to want to, you know, keep some other cards. It's going to be a huge L for me <laughs> overall. It's going to be rough because these were so expensive. Like, oh, my goodness. Um, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. That is a Prismatic Ultimate Rare alternate art. Very cool. The Sarvis. That is it. That was a prismatic cute quarter century rare. I'm sorry. Too many rarities. Just too much. Two left. Two left. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys been if you guys have enjoyed it, I've said that too many times. Just subscribe to the video, guys. Just subscribe to the channel. I am really struggling right now. We have silent swordsman. That's ruined me for rhyme style whenever I get those. Just subscribe because we will be opening a lot more rarity collection too. And of course, new stuff as it comes out and old stuff, vintage stuff, because that's what we do here. I'm having a ton of fun already, and there is a lot to go with this set. So let's end it off with one pack. We have preparation of rights. Pre-preparation of right. No, that's just preparation. Pre-preparation was in the last set. Rescue Rabbit. We have Abominations Prison. Interesting. Droll and Lockbird. Rescue Cat Alternate Art Prismatic Ultimate Rare. Pearly Abbey Memory. I think we got something shiny at the end. That's a Synchro. Oh, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Very cool. And then IP Masquerade Alternate Art. So overall, I feel like we had a pretty good opening. There's a lot of like decent cards in here. There's no huge one like Ash this year. So we'll see how that works out. Let me know your thoughts on Rarity Collection 2 in the comments. And we will be opening a lot more of this as we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Shout out to Tolan Fosho, Anessa Deanda, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barning, Robert F., Changalang, Adelso Garcia Jr., and Edwin K. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.